Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. I want to do a quick update on the 3040 CNC. As you can see, it's here cutting away. So I've been using it a little bit, and this is really some of the first jobs I've been running on it since I've had time to set it up. So I kind of wanted to share a couple things. One is I wanted you to hear it run. This thing is amazingly quiet in comparison to my probotic with that uh, Porter Cable uh, router on it. So I've got the 800 watt spindle, water cooled spindle, loving it. The, it. It is super, super quiet in comparison. You can hear it moving. It's running at full RPM right now. So um, this thing has just really been great. You can hear it. Uh, this is a uh, three millimeter acrylic that we're cutting with a two flute. And so, uh, you know, so some of the initial cuts, obviously when it hits, hits the material, it's running a little bit louder, but um, I, I'm just really impressed. There's a couple different dynamics I do want to share with the machine that I discovered. Uh, one is the uh, actual collet on the uh, spindle itself is a six millimeter collet. It is not a quarter inch collet. So, uh, for example, the eighth inch adapter I have in there, I had to machine it down on the lathe to make it fit uh, because it wouldn't receive a quarter inch. So this is a metric spindle. So if you do get one of these, it's going to be a six millimeter uh, collet more than likely. The same holds true. Quarter 20s won't fit in, in the bed for the uh, mounts. These are like, a, again, a six millimeter uh, bolt head that fits in here. So don't expect a quarter 20 to fit without some uh, coercing with a grinder. So. Um, I'm actually going to build up a, a different type of mount here. One of the things that I did did notice with the acrylic too on this is I had to go with a center clamp um, because it bowed a little bit on, on this bed. I'm not sure if it's the bed. I don't think it's the bed, but I think it's just the way it mounts is a little bit different. So I had to make some of those changes. Um, all in all, I've got it running on, on, I think you saw in a prior episode, it's running on Garble with the G Code Sender. The laptop is, I'm going to pan you, is way, 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 way over there. Uh, it's running Linux and G-Code Sender. You can see the VFD over here. Uh, it runs the spindle and controller. You can see the uh, uh, Arduino uh, on top with the uh, 25dB shield I did the uh, episode on. And so that's all running up. I haven't wired up the um, automatic control for the pump. So I just turned the pump on and off manually right now, but that's on the to-do list. Um, but here I'm running a job. So I've run a couple different jobs on this guy already, as you can kind of see from the, um, the mess on the, on the workbench. So, uh, but all in all, it's done a really good job. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Also, if you're looking for the garble settings, I'm running for, um, $100, 101, and 102 at 400 and it seems to be working. Those, those are the numbers I saw. I did set up a dial indicator, ran it, everything seems to look good, so really happy with it. Also for those that commented, yes, I had to move the spindle down uh, quite a bit, so um, you know, expect to do that from where it came stock. I've also put, as I've done on my probotic, some uh, tape uh, ruler so I can kind of measure. Um, all I had was imperial with inches, so that's what I've added. It comes in kind of handy to sort of index. Uh, I will replace this with metrics. I do prefer working in millimeters. So anyways, again, I did want you guys to hear how quiet this is. I know it sounds kind of funny because it is noisy in the background, but um, you know, hopefully you can appreciate it versus using a DeWalt or Porter cable or a regular AC spindle. I also like the fact that this is sealed. Um, and since it's sealed, it doesn't have that big fan sucking air in it that has to cool like an AC motor in that. So, anyways, I want to watch this. It's going to do the cutout now. This is actually the bed for a uh, desktop CNC project that I'm doing that you guys will see sometime in February. So, I want to go make sure that that all goes well. It's actually going to do the peck drill routine now. But, anyways, uh, hopefully you found this interesting. And I've got a link below if you're interested in getting a 3040, uh, a 3020, 3040, or 3060. I've got an applet on the website, uh, www.diy3dtech.com, and I'll have a link below. 
we can go and see the current listings off of eBay. But uh, again, very, very happy for the money I spent on this. So, And I would definitely suggest going with the water-cooled spindle if you're thinking about it. I know it's a bit of extra money, but uh, this thing has been great. So anyways, hey, if you find this interesting, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe button will be coming. Don't forget about the swag shop. And hey, see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.